It was a very poor performance and, um, you know, and it's unacceptable, really. And I think that, um, you know, if you go over the, 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 the DVD uh, for five minutes, we were OK. Uh, but then they go and score the first goal and we just collapse. And uh, it's just not acceptable and uh, it just can't happen. And if it keeps happening, that's why we're in the problems. We've got the problems that we have. And uh, so uh, everybody was frustrated on Saturday. Uh, and I understand that totally. Uh, we allowed a good team to play in a very relaxed way, and that's dangerous. And uh, so we've got to learn from that. Mm. Uh, did, did you meet and do anything special this week to try and get that out of the system? I mean, do you have a player meeting? Or oh no, we always have a player meeting. And uh, but it was it wasn't um, to be to be honest. The players have had quite a lot of matches, uh, so it was a very light Monday. Uh, but we're going to go into more detail on on uh, things on Tuesday and. Um, and cover uh, lots of the lots of the points, good and bad. And uh, so, um, you know, we, we we know we're in a very um, difficult situation. We've got four matches to go, and we need some points. It's as simple as that. So, you know, how I look at it is that we've got you know four games to go. We need the players to be together for four matches. That's what we need. So you don't want to. It's no point in. Um, going berserk and punishing them and upsetting them and all that. We, we've still got four matches to go. Um, three matches ago, uh, we were in a very good situation. You know, after the MK Dons game, uh, I think we'd then played 29 and we were nine points clear. And uh, that was a very, very good situation. What we've done after that, we've lost to Rotherham, we've lost to Peterborough and we've lost to Orient. Now, some ways, uh, people shouldn't be totally surprised about that. Uh, and I think... Um, I'm sure most supporters would have said, OK, we can live with that, but we want to see a better performance. And I think that's where I'm, I'm 100% with them. Yeah, I see. OK. So, it's, uh, I mean, does, is there any more significance on Friday's game, the fact that Tramia are, are down there desperate for wins themselves as well? Um, well, I, I, think, I think we're at home. We're playing a team that's down there with us. Uh, and we've got to look to go and win the match, as simple as that. And, uh, and I'm expecting a really high-tempo performance and uh, of determination uh, and uh, good discipline, uh, I'm, I'm expecting us to bounce back, as simple as that. I, I've been speaking to the captain and he said it was important that everyone's together as well, He's, yeah. you get the crowd behind them, that everyone needs to be confident from the, the first whistle as well. Yeah, no it is, that, that, that is always important, uh, but you don't always get that and that's where players have just got to be big and brave uh, and, and get on with that, you know, there's going to be supporters that are frustrated, quite rightly so, you know, but I also do know that the supporters will know it's a very important match for us and uh, and I think they know that they can be more helpful by getting behind the boys. The supporters have done absolutely nothing wrong. It's only our performances that have been wrong. Uh, but, you know, it, we just ask a favour, really, of the supporters getting behind us yet again. And it, it doesn't take a lot to turn this situation from one looking over the shoulder to maybe looking at a mid-table finish. One win on Friday, maybe, and then... You're off again. Well, I, I think I think if people look at the situation realistically, yep. um, you're not going to all of a sudden change the team. It's impossible to do that. Um, we've just got to get the very best out of the individuals that we've got here, uh, and you know we are, we all owe it to the football club to do everything we can honestly uh, to turn it round. That's what we've got to do. And uh, so we just want a little bit of patience from people. But I, I do appreciate that's very difficult. It's easier to say that than, than, than get it. I see. Have you got, you've got quite a different week this week as well, being a Friday um, fixture? Do you bring the players in on the Wednesday? or? No, no, we're not going to do too much different to that uh, because we've then got the game on Monday as well. Uh, so we've got a lot of football coming up. And uh, so... You know, we are. You know, with you know, I've took uh, some advice from the fitness people on that, and uh, so. But no, we'll we'll be okay. We, I'm sure we'll be um, we'll be looking forward to the game on Friday, and uh, and the lads will be fit. You made full use of the squad since you've been here, and I suppose you've got to utilise that, especially when you've got two games in three days or well, four days. Yeah, yeah. Well, we have, but you know, the most important thing is at the minute is that we're concentrating on this one. You know, yeah. we're concentrating on the first match. You know, we're not going to save anything in the tank for for Walsall. That is a cert. You know, so we've got to get a, a very good result uh, against Tranmere. That's the that's the plan. It's all on this one to start with, isn't it? Absolutely. And uh, as I say, and I think we've got the squad's looking a little bit stronger. Uh, Leon Legg's got a very good chance. Uh, Danny Kebble got a very good chance um, so it's looking a little bit healthier with some men around and uh, so that's going to be good news for us